Greetings folks, hope you're all keeping well. This is a weird looking animal. Some might say it's a bald anteater cross with a pig. Or a science experiment gone wrong. Or for us kids who grew up in the 80s and 90s. Kind of reminds me of Rocksteady without the horn from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, however, this majestic animal, like the title describes, is a taper. And I hope to be able to dispel some myths surrounding this majestic creature. So stick around. It's one of four species found around the world, three of which are found on the continent of South America and one of which is found halfway across the world in Asia. The one we'll be focusing on today is the South American taper. The others are coming up on screen now. They are the Bard's taper, also called the Central American taper, the Mountain taper, also called the Woolly taper, and last of which is a Malayan taper, also called the Asian or Oriental or Indian taper, mainly found in Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar and Thailand. Sadly, all four species are classified by the UAUCN red list as endangered, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Do you know what the closest living relative to these creatures are? I'll let you know at the end of the video. You might be surprised, so leave your guess in the comments below. The taper is one of the oldest creatures and considering a living fossil. Because they've been around for the last 20 million years, having survived waves of extinctions from other animals, the South American taper is the largest native land mammal, with adults ranging from sizes of 300 to 700 pounds. Their population numbers are currently in between 3,000 to 4,500 within the world as of the last census. Folks, if you get value from this video, please hit the like button and help us out with the algorithm. Also, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Within South America, the taper can normally be found foraging in the evening time because they're mainly a nocturnal animal. They live near waters, swamp, forests or rainforests, shrublands and wetlands in the northern and central parts of South America. Their diet consists mainly of fruit and leaves. They use a long prehensile snout to reach the fruit. Like many animals in the forest who eat fruit, they would be classed as seed dispersers. The taper has a nickname as a gardener of the forest because of the distance they travel looking for food and because of the amount of seeds that pass through the digestive tract and get planted far from their homes. The disadvantage that they have is their long burden cycle. Females carry their young for up to 13 to 14 months before giving birth to a single baby calf. But have a look at the baby. They are just so cute and well camouflaged. They're often referred to as a brown watermelon. The main predators of the taper are jaguars. These big cats can take down a fully grown taper weighing up to 300 pounds. Other predators are crocodiles and pythons. While humans are on the top of the list of predators, tapers are being hunted for their meat and also due to habitat loss. This is the major factor and reason why they're classed as endangered by the IUCN. To answer the question at the start of the video, and I hope you've all put the answers down in the comments, tapers are actually closely related to rhinos, horses and zebras. Here's two bonus facts for those of you who have stuck around so far into this video. Tapers can live up to 30 years and they can actually live longer in captivity. Also, they communicate to each other by whistling. Folks, if you like this video, you might like Google's next recommendation on another South American resident, the Golden Lion Tamron. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. 